How am I gonna introduce myself? Oh no, we are recording already. Hello, welcome to episode 11 of the Bolo Pascual Show. <laughs> and we have a special Hi. today. We have AJ, um, also known as Milkis Papi. And I'm actually super curious. Um, so would you like to introduce yourself mm -hmm. um, further, AJ, to the audience? Oh. All right. Okay, guys. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm AJ. I'm milking puppy at TikTok. And um, I'm 21. I'm working at home. And I'm living with my girlfriend here in Makati. And yeah. And Hi. I'm super curious, uh, AJ, where did you get your mm. name, Milk is Papi? Is it Milk is Papi? Or like, is it like a pun? Or is it like referring to another content creator? Oh, Milk is Papi kasi ano ba? You know this drink, this strawberry drink, Milkies? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's my favorite drink. Tapos, a lot of people call me Papi, so I combined it lang. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah. Um, so, I'm milky spoppy because it's like it, it's like a yogurt drink, but mm -hmm. it's like a soda. So it's like oh, the yes. best of both worlds. Some people hate it, but I happen to like it. So that's awesome. Hindi ko lang alam na yun yung milky sa drink. That that's what you kaya yun yung ano mo yung um yung question. Oh, but in the in terms of yogurt, um, mm -hmm. you stand with the cold and or, or the light. Oh my god, Yakult forever, man. Original. Yes. Why? But, why? Uh, like, why not the light? Hmm? Why not why the light? Why Yakult? Mm -hmm. I'm like, ever since, ever since Bata Pao, that's what I drink, actually. But I'm curious about other people why they don't talk about Chamito, they don't talk about Wham. Everyone, <laughs> like the OG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the Wham drink? Uh huh. So yeah, dude. I don't. I don't know why they don't talk about it. But yes, the question is if it's Yakult or Delight. I'll pick Yakult over it. I see. It's so key. Wham and versus Chamito. What would you pick? <laughs> <laughs> I would pick Chamito, man. I see. Because you walk around, no one has shot the market, eh? Yeah. Para na ito lang in once ba na classmate ko? Because next time Chamito na ulit <laughs> or Yakult. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so AJ, we have fans, fans mo, mm -hmm. <laughs> or mga nag-comment sa I'm... isang TikTok ko. Ano yung gusto mo tanong sa sa KK AJ? And one of mm -hmm. our favorite content creators. Wait lang, gusto magpa shout out si Jeff. So bigyan nga natin ng shout out si Jeff. Sup Jeff, shout out. Oh no, did you get ano? Hello, Alpos. All right, so we're yeah. Um, and one of the questions, okay, one of our favorite content creators, si Pork Nilaga, um, my question about yeah. cons and advantages of being androgynous sa daily living. How would you, how would you answer that, AJ? Like, what are the cons? To, to Neil, Pork Nilaga. Mm -mm. Okay, for me, sa experience ko, living androgynous is kind of hard. Lalo na sa environment sa house ko. Like, my mom is kind of homophobic and um, it's hard to be myself around my family, actually. But then, um, I, don't, I don't think about kasi what they think. I think about what makes me happy and um, being, like, dressing up like as a, as a guy sometimes makes me feel like myself more like myself like i could mm. express like what i uh, what i feel and all and i don't know i'm i'm happy with that kind of setup like that's what i picked because and all but then um living with like homophobic parents is really hard and all mm. yeah that's that's I see. Um, Mm -hmm. I got it. Um, now that you you've you've also been seeing my content, like I have like clothes, na parang basic lang t-shirt ganyan. Um, if you yeah. give me some advice about like fashion, for me, like parang I'm a twenty six year old tito, but I kind of wanna look, I kind of wanna look hip. Like parang 
what is something that would you would advise na I could buy like as something that I could it could be useful for me for my fashion? Mm. Actually, my answer to that because if they ask me about like fashion stuff, mm-hmm. I tell them to go to Pinterest. And mm. yeah. Pinterest. Mm-hmm. Pinterest. Go to Pinterest and. Um, and what pen should I search for? What pen? Hmm. I would suggest the mga ano, the mga nineties, because you look cool with it. The mga pants na denim and like in plain tops and just be what's the like, name of that pin and in, in, on pinterest like ano mga 90s vintage mm, outfits man. 1990s vintage outfits yeah yeah Plastic, you can use pinterest pala for ano no for identifying your your fashion sense yeah 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 that's where i get my ano that's where i get my outfit ideas for my outfit videos Top tier fashion tips right here on this episode. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Pinterest, the, everyone downloaded it. Actually, I was reading statistics about Pinterest. Majority mm-hmm. of users there are women. Actually, majority. Mm-hmm. And wala lang, just to all the cisgender straight males out there, we can also use it. It's very useful for our fashion sense also. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Ngayon, may tanong dito si Mitch Jacinto. Hi, Mitch. I see mm-hmm. out to you. Hindi ko gets yung tanong, pero baka ma-understand mo yung tanong. <laughs> um, maybe yeah. yung tanong. Yung... Bakit buhay pa ang buhok nyo? Is it magic? What, what, what does that <laughs> Like, why, why oh, is Mitch okay. asking kung buhay pa yung buhok nyo or not? Like, parang, I don't understand. Hmm. Kasi, I know, I always, I know, I always bleach my hair and color my hair. So, like, I get Mama, the lot of Oh yeah, it will dry out if you don't mm. take care of your hair properly. I get a lot of questions then sa videos ko and like when I color my hair, like how do I take care of my hair? Yeah, I always tell them man, to just condition your hair daily. That's basically mm. it, and like just don't use too much shampoo. <laughs> mm, I see. And, condition um, your hair daily and don't use too much shampoo. Mm, yeah, All twice right. lang, twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Um, what's the next hair color you, you'd put on your hair? I don't know. I was planning to get like gray hair, but then it was a fail. That's why I bleached my hair like this. But then um, I was planning to get get blue indigo colors because uh, um, a lot of people are telling me that dark hair um, colors are good for my skin tone. And for the expert, si Gwen, mm. who colors her hair almost like every month. So I, I don't know. I follow her as So advice. before you met Gwen, some, some relationship cheese missed. No, I was kidding. Like, were you already <laughs> kept coloring your hair or was it just black? Uh, yeah, I started coloring my hair brown because I got bored with the black one. And I want to be unique. I don't want to be the same like with other people. I want them to know that like, I'm the person who covers your hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, next time we'll, we'll, we'll expect you to have blue hair soon? Oh, yes. Awesome. I can't, I really cannot wait for that. Um, <laughs> okay, this is happening more because I'm I'm going to segue. But I want to segue. Okay, go. <laughs> um, okay, go. <laughs> okay, because I want to acknowledge uh, the question nandito like parang yung viewers natin like si si Eggnog slash Betlog <laughs> DC yung kwan uh, okay. shout outs <laughs> to Eggnog slash <laughs> Betlog <laughs> ang ganun ng pangalan mo sa kutaka <laughs> <laughs> so ayun what's your what's your perspective and idea about this uh generation right now or like the generation Z the generation Z for me ano Actually, I'm kinda, I'm kinda happy about our generation because people are more aware of what's happening, and people from our generation is more accepting of the LGBT community. Mm-hmm. But they're more, I know, they're more respectful and all, and 
also they're accepting yung women's rights. They mm. they acknowledge it more. Mm. Parang uh, our generation wants to like have like equality with like everyone gets. So that's why like I'm proud of our generation and all. I mean that's my idea only with that. Mm. No, I I really I really agree with you. Nah. People are more accepting. People are more informed. People are more sensitive um, mm-hmm. and respectful towards the different struggles we face uh, mm-hmm. in society, especially like, because like being part of LGBT. If you're in a relationship, it's like there are glaring differences outside the the norm, and I'm just happy that na. Even if many of our older generations aren't as accepting and aren't as respectful towards the different gender identities, at least the value of respect towards the LGBTQ is like handed down also to the to the next generation. Um, so mm-hmm. I really, I really am proud of that. And I was just wondering, like, from my, my question is, what are the struggles of being in our relationship? Uh, with an, with also another woman, and when you're out in public, what is something that, parang feeling ng mga ibang tao, like hindi naman talaga siya struggle, pero like it's it's also a challenge to to face face it like on a daily basis. I mean, only if you want to open up like about it. Oh yeah, I I am. I say I don't usually talk about this with other people. Um, I know when I know. The usual normal couple, kasi diba, they, ano, they hold their hands in public. They sometimes kiss in public. It's so hard because there are a lot of people like give you this like these like death stares. So you na you're just you're just being human and all. And the way ayun nga, I dress, kasi like a lot of people are telling me na parang. When I see my relatives in public, it's so hard na they tell me na they they really do judge me na why am I with a girl? Why am I dressing like this? Like is there something wrong? Like they're they're always telling me that it is it is a sin, like right in front of me. Mm. So I think uh, I'm just I'm just being myself and it's it's hard to be yourself when there are a lot of judgmental people around you. I I I can't I know I can't be I can't be normal around like a lot of people. Okay, yeah, I chose to be androgynous because like for me, I really get scared sometimes if I dress like as a guy. I get disrespected so much. Tapos naman if I dress feminine, like a lot of people. Um, it doesn't mind me, but I get, I know, I get harassed. You know, that's why I, I don't know where. Mm, so, like, one of the main challenges is the parent. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. parang, and I think, parang, one of the things that we need to challenge is the decency and respect that we we have for each other in this in this society or country. Because, parang, when I was when I went to Hong Kong. Araming nag ng short skirt, a uh, short shorts. Pero mm-hmm. mas onte, sobrang mas onte yung guys don sa Hong Kong or like sa Singapore na mag magtingin or mag mag ano yun, mag 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 check out ng maliciously. Yeah. Pero sa atin, for some reason, even if we're like in a Catholic country and we're told to respect people and stuff like that, mm-hmm. we still we still are are like that. Um. Anyways, thank you so much for, for, for sharing that and giving giving awareness uh, towards mm-hmm. it. And we have questions left. What is something that you would say towards people or, or the audience um, about, I don't know, acceptance or about the things that you fight for in life? Oh, oh was that? Sorry, Mitchell. No, like what, what is something that you'd like to say uh, to our viewers about the things that you fight for in life or your advocacies or your main All right. I mean, I know, I, ever since someone, I've been, I know, like, an, 
to really advocate at like lalo na sa TikTok I voice out like with my jokes and all that we get uh, I just want to tell those um those people who I know struggle like every day to be themselves I just you know want to let them know that they have to like I know just be I just want to tell them that they don't have to like just a certain outfit for them to be themselves they I don't know just just be yourself lang and um don't let other people um make your decisions for you sa buhay mo kung sino yung pipiliin mo like kung sino i-date mo or kung mm. like your life decisions and all you know guys my mom so shy hi <laughs> <laughs> and um ano ba um just be humble and all basically and my <laughs> my usual advice is just be chill mm. you don't have to um what you call this pero hindi mo naman kailangan i-ano yung other people you don't have to please other people you just have to you know just have to be yourself you know It's awesome. Amazing. No, I like it. I like it. Be yourself. <laughs> make your own decisions. And yeah, yeah awesome. And I, I just want to say <laughs> to all the viewers, if you're still here um, at this last part, is that I really like AJ's content on TikTok because AJ is mm. being AJ. And I like it. I like the swag. I like the, the ako to eh. And like, I just feel that I'm influenced by it um, because you own your personality. And that makes me want to own my personality. So I just oh, no. thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, that's our 15 minutes. That's the show. See you guys. And th- anyway, that's it. Thank you, AJ. Minutes, huh? Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's super fast. I, I told you. Anyways, say bye. All See ya. Right, okay.